Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Raylo. And Sashimi. And Stubby. And we are here with Stubby, Axel, and Milo. Oh, there's also Porsche over there. So we are here, guys, to unbox the Final Fantasy VII Remake. First Play Arts action figure. This is actually uh, the Cloud Strife. This is the first class edition, basically. The, it comes with this, as well as whatever's in that little cardboard box. So, let's go ahead and crack into this, but we have to gently... Milo right over here to a comfortable spot so he may watch us. Well, Which he quickly <laughs> abandoned. Comfortable spot denied. Alright, so as you can see, it's just a big cardboard box that you get in the mail. This was actually a box within a box. It's even got its own Square Enix tape. And much like Cloud, we're using a knife that's way too dang big. <laughs> we are greeted with more cardboard. And then a nice box. Why won't it focus? Like me, it's losing its focus. Alright, let's take our. It's actually pretty decent packing for. Stubby's interested. That's this now. Hey, buddy. Alrighty. You don't have to run, bud. You're always welcome up here. He'll be back. He always comes back for these. Alrighty. So, as you can see, we have a nice, minimalist style box. Yeah, no joke. It's a vast sea of black. It's black as cloud soul. <laughs> I probably should open the little box first. Yeah, what's this? That's a knife. We are just gonna get rid of this tape over here. Oof. I mean, I thought it was gonna be big, but. You guys wanna see Cloud just pull right on out of there? Like he's driving the motorcycle out? <laughs> I thought this was gonna be big, but, oh man, that's, I mean, look at that. Where the heck am, it's gonna like have to go on a table or something. Look at Cloud though, it looks like he just got into an accident, he's flying off of it. <laughs> that is fine though, that's cool. All right, let's get it out of its plastic coffin. Let me do this off to the side so there's not too much plastic. Ear shattering noise. Because I'm pretty sure that sound doesn't sound too great on the ears. And likely not. Alright. First off, let's take a look at Cloud. So, this is a Play Arts Kai. And normally I don't like Play Arts Kai when it comes to faces. Yeah. But I think they did a pretty good job. It's okay. It, it's better than I was like, expecting, honestly. But... See, where I think that they actually excel, this, this series excels with masks and, like, armor, you know, when they, when they don't have an actual human face. But I would say that they did pretty good. 
The painting in the eyes is quite nice. He's got his signature Mako color. His hair looks good. I like the blue on the shoulder pad. The shoulder plate is quite nice. Dang, they did a good job with that. Detail in the screws is on point too. Texture for his, what is this? Sweater? His sh like uh, turtleneck. His turtle vest. It's it has no arms, so. <laughs> so let's see. For articulation, looks like he's got. Can go straight up and down, forward, and back as well. I kind of like what they did with the muscle work here. This actually goes outward. That's a nice point of articulation, and right there with the with the seam. It looks a little more natural than a lot of these articulated figures. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm not quite sure I, I'm digging all the space in the elbow, though. There's a lot of space there. It leaves it pretty, pretty well open. But, I mean, it does give him quite a bit of degree of movement. Looks like his wrist goes inward, outward. So he's got an actual full joint there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Looks like that goes for both arms. Scooting down, nice bit of detail on the belt. I like the powdering they did with the paint. Oh, look, the pants are actually, they, they actually have tears here. The, the vest has one here, too. So you can bring the arm forward and everything without too much hindrance. Nice articulation in the chest. Just give him a little stretch. Yeah. And he's very... Wow. What? <laughs> you hey, you ain't got an ass, but at least you got arms. No booty. So as far as... He's got... Good hips, good hips, mm, good hips. It, these seams though, is this a point of articulation? This is, okay. I've got a point of articulation right here. Oh, cool. So you can sw sweep the legs in and out for multiple poses. Yeah, they probably did that for the bike. Looks like we've got a really, man, that is a monstrous joint. Gotta get that yeah, good baggy stretch. the pants hide that one pretty well. Yeah, it's, they did a good job with that one. And the powdering is nice on the pants, too, so... Like dry brush or whatever they did. You go, girl. Perfect. So he's got another point of articulation here. This was just that bike accident earlier. <laughs> nice zipper work. Did a good, good bit of detail there. He also has hingeable Ooh. front feet, or front feet, toes. Front feet. Front feet. <laughs> We've got new anatomy. Front. <laughs> Foot front. <laughs> so we're going to do this real quick. While I move over to the Daytona. Like, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Perfect. You stay right there, Cloud. Okay, so for accessories, he's got hands. Hands, hands, hands. Look at all these hands. One, two, three, four sets. We've got open claw, open regular. I'm just gonna put his hands here. After that pose, he's probably gonna put some hands on me. Maybe. Okay guys, there you go. You guys can admire these hands while I get to that sounds like a that sounds like a taunt. <laughs> you can admire <laughs> these hands. Okay, I'm gonna grab the big boy. Well, actually not quite yet. 
So he comes with one of the play arts, Kai. Stands. Oh, jeez. Here is the Buster Sword. Oh. Where's like. material? Yeah, I wish they would have thrown some... No Just double checking before I said <laughs> anything. There is no material that I can see. It's all. Very nice detail on it. He's not really equipped to hold it for right now, so... Hands too closed. There we go. So, oh, for the big boy. Good lord. That is hefty. This is oh, wheels really big. So you could put him on and like roll him across the floor. They actually oh. roll independently. They ooh, check that out. It has a what? It's a bike of the future. Well, it kind of is. So, man, that's really cool. Alrighty. So let's take a look at this, guys. This thing is really, really huge. And it's actually pretty hefty. I'd say it probably weighs at least five pounds. I think it's awesome. Yeah, it, this, is, this is honestly way better than I expected. I'm going to have to, like, go back and buff this, though, because, ooh... You got a bit of a rough spot in the paint right mm. here. Maybe I think it's supposed to be damaged slightly or something. No, nah, it's got a yellow? greasy film film to it. I'm I'm willing to bet that's resin, uh, maybe mm. from the mold, because uh, that's what it feels like. That feels like when one of my resin casts or one of my molds messes up. So and that's unfortunate, but uh, that can be buffed out. That's no problem. It's a little bit of scuffing from the case right here. Mm. But outside of that, I don't really see any major flaws to it. And I mean, it is a motorcycle, so once you get it all clean and buffed out, you know, I might actually be able to use some like actual wax on it and protect it in the future. So our front tire, it does spin. Man, it's actually kind of hard to just hold and look at it. Oh, Cloud. Cloud, he's been killed by his own motorcycle. Very impressive details. Kickstand, does it come out? It does. Um, what? We have a kick, a deployable kickstand. Hmm. <laughs> it's apparently a, a fulcrum and everything. So for the handlebars, looks like they do turn, so you can pose them along with cloud. So you can get some pretty cool poses out of that. Looks like they completely turn here and here. Hmm. So you can get some really cool posing on the bike. Alrighty, so we took a real quick break to get Cloud, let Cloud get a little more relaxed, but also to kind of figure some things out on this. So we've actually got a moving panel here. Actually can sink into and come up, pop up. It's pretty cool. As well as the steering column it does turn to a degree. Like, seriously, a degree. <laughs> <laughs> so just to look at all the details, I like that they actually did the seat like in a different texture. It's not like squishy or anything, but it does sort of have a leather look. That would be a cool detail though if they had made it, <laughs> made it kind of squishy. That's why I checked. Like, oh, it kind of looks like it might be, but it's not. Okay. Get a workout handle on that thing. <laughs> I don't know if he 
he's gonna stay, but... You can do it. Alrighty, Cloud. Okay. So he does come with one of the signature Play Arts Kai standees. These things are great when you put them together right, Roy. <laughs> So they have adjustable arms. You can set this up in the stand. It turns. It also has a feature with these hexes where you can throw them on pretty much any kind of configuration you want. And then there's a hook arm of a couple sizes that you can attach to the end to hold your figure pretty much however you want. And I mean, these can go, these are adjustable to all degrees of angles, heights, they're great. So, what's in the China box? Have you still got more stuff over there? No, I think the plastic castle is done. We are now about to move on to, I'm guessing this is going to be the content part. Yeah, the actual game? That does not look like a game-shaped box to me, so. No, but it does come with a game, right? I sure hope they didn't pull a Mass Effect on it. <laughs> that would be so messed up. So many times I'm reminded that I should really uh, actually look at the contents of these collector's editions before I go hitting mm. the cart buttons. Okay. This is lanyard. This is our lanyard. This one, this was a uh, Square Enix store pre-order item. Came free with this edition. I'm sure they, like... Where are, you can probably buy it for like, what would you say Square Enix would charge for that? Like $45? $45. Uh, maybe 15 So we have high quality, very high definition printing. Got Clown, Barrett, Tifa, and Aerith, or Eris, 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 depending on which generation you're coming from. Pretty basic lanyard. And believe it or not, it was in there. Look at that. I'm glad, because I was feeling a little nervous. I have all this cool stuff. Can't play the game. I know with Mass Effect and Drama, they're like, hey, you got this cool car. Why don't you go play with it? Well, yeah, but what about the game? Okie dokie. So this is the same as the Deluxe Edition, if you got that Ooh, man, I don't want to touch that. That has a really nice matte look to it. That is really nice. And look at that embossed foil cover. That is... Wow, that's pretty. Yeah, I like it. Even the PS4 part is like matte. I love the design for this box. Pretty colors. Ooh, look, it's foil on the back. So inside of this, we're gonna have a steelbook case, mini soundtrack CD, the Cactuar Summon Material DLC, Materia DLC, and hardback art book. As well as all these beautiful people here. <laughs> this is, this one opens from the side. Oh. oh, these boxes always make me so nervous. Alrighty. So we're just going to pour out them contents and put this real pretty box back here. Protect it, Laoshan. So for our steel case, we are continuing our minimalist look, which if you think of the theme of Final Fantasy VII, minimalist is perfect. Because it's all about them fighting, you know, Shinra and everything in the beginning yeah. as they're tearing up the planet. Mm. So a minimalist approach is... that's brilliant. That's a nice picture. Got some Sephiroth, you know, he's throwing a barbecue here on the weekend. <laughs> he's quarantined, so he's, he's gotta... He's, he's gonna do it up big from his backyard. So, artwork on the inside. You have the Shinra building. Cloud. I love, I gotta say, I love how accurate and how loyal they were to the iconic design of the Shinra building. 
I was worried they were going to modernize the crap out of it. Here is our deluxe edition art book. Oh, they've got concept. They got hand drawn art. No, don't close. Look at little Aerith. Toad Aerith when she's in toad status. They have status pictures for everyone. Oh, she's the first character. Look at Toad Bear. Look at Toad Bear. He grew his hand back. Man. Can do that? I'm. I think Cloud was in the front, by the way. Was he? I think so. Of course he was. Oh, God. T-shirt Cloud is in there. I, I caught a <laughs> glimpse of it. Okay, hand-drawn, it does oh, yeah. not look that bad. Oh, yeah, you're right. Look, he's got... I remember... I think in the game he didn't have the sleeves, though. The black shirt underneath? I don't know. I just Maybe can't get behind Cloud in a T-shirt. Um, I saw Tifa, but maybe that was after Barrett. I don't know. Oh, there okay. she is. Oh, these. This is a very tightly bound book. Look at her. And she looks like a little poison frog. How cute. Man, I love the hand drawn stuff. Oh, I was. I was thinking it was gonna be all the renders, but the fact it's the hand drawn. I mean, I love it. Look at the shading and the. Oh, I love the, the the design of the mechs in any Final Fantasy. We got monster designs. There's the church. Mm. Sector 5. Ah, oh, Barrett's weapons. Clouds. That has a chocobo carriage. Oh, man, it's... Already, I'm getting a little too excited. I'm starting to really want to play the game now, so. Onward! Final Fantasy VII Remake, the mini soundtrack. Mini soundtrack opening. Tracks are on the back there. Hmm? Tracks are on the back there. I was just curious on what the art was. Oh, of course it's cloud. Everything is cloud. There are the 12 it. tracks there. I think that's actually what's playing in the background. And of course, we have the game, which feels kind of thick. Thick? It feels a little thick. I, feel some, I think I feel some content in there. What is that? What? 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 Is there a book in there? No way. No. There can't be a book in there. That only happens with, like, straight-up real Japanese RPGs. Because this is a fake Japanese RPG. Well, this one is a little bit more Western. The mainstream. Okay, so I'm just going to let you guys know. This is actually the Cactuar code for summoning. But the code is on this side. And I want to summon my Cactuar. So we're just going to put that right there. Hey, look, I got 10 years. <laughs> All right, so this does have some stuff in it. What is this? Oh, we've got an advert here trying to sell us the other Play Arts Kai's. So if you guys are interested in, they've got Aerith, Cloud, Barreto, and Tifa. They do have it on their website. And ad adverts for all that other stuff. We have uh, just the usual informationals. So this is a two disc Final Fantasy VII the remake and play disc. Oh, so it's like uh, I think Red Dead did something similar. You put in to that game and it's going to download some stuff or something. Yeah, insert data. So insert data disc first. Insert play disc second, so you'll need to install off of this one, play off of this one. We have a double sided box. Mmm. Mm. More minimalism. This makes it actually look like more like the the steel book. Mm. Hey, 
and there we go. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Um, I ordered this one, like I was really excited to get this one when they first announced it at E3. So I ordered the, I pre-ordered it kind of on a whim in my excitement and didn't pay much attention to the crazy cost on it. So I was a little bit worried. I was genuinely worried this was going to be a case of buyer's remorse in the making because I mean, for the price it's, it's high. You guys know that if you, if you're watching this, you're probably well aware. The bike though, I'm actually quite, I'm, I'm quite happy with the bike. I gotta say, I was expecting this little plastic thing and I was worried I was gonna be really disappointed. I gotta say, this sucker is nice. It's big, it's beefy, it's a whole lot of pounds of awesome. And I think it's gonna have a nice spot somewhere in here and we'll be It'll be here some it'll be here in the future videos because I like that. I'm gonna take it off uh, and polish it up. I'm gonna make it look real pretty. Maybe try some uh, try some different uh, protective coatings for it to make it look real good. So I like it though. Clouds Cloud Cloud likes it too. Approved. So just out of review, you're gonna get the crazy minimalist box. Not the cat. Cat not included, but he's been approving of it the whole time. You will get the Cloud Play Arts Kai with the Daytona, Buster Sword, so many hands, the actual deluxe edition with its beautiful casing, the mini soundtrack, the game, of course, the awesome steel case over here, which I should have here. Maybe? I don't know. You also get the art book. And if you had pre-ordered it, the lanyard. So there you have it, guys. That is our unboxing on this one. If you are debating getting it, um, I'm not sure what the inventory of the internet is for this. It's probably a little ridiculous. It's probably getting scalped somewhere or another. But if you can get it for somewhere around the MSRP, I'm not regretting it. I think you'd like it. It's fancy. I think it also depends on how much of a fan of Final Fantasy VII you are. It was one of my very first, like many people, it was one of my very first like real RPGs that I really dug into outside of this and Wild Arms. Um, so those two have special places in my heart. So I think this is worth it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments, all right? Outside of that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's talk about our cats for a second. This one's real he, interested in a floor. He's looking for ants. We've got a we've got a little bit of a, a wood ant problem that we're trying to handle, but Axel seems to like them. We've been like little fast snacks for him, quick protein. <laughs> it's also stubby. So if you guys, if any of you are new to the channel. Like, subs, all that stuff, that's completely up to you. What we do always ask for around here, though, is if it's within your means, consider adopting or rescuing an animal. ASPCA.org, PetFinder.com. You can also Google your local animal rescue and adoption options. If you can't bring a kitty or other animal home with you due to allergies, living conditions, what have you, there's other ways you can help out those animals out there in need. You can also go volunteer and still spend time with the guys, or you can donate money, old blankets, clothes, sheets, office supplies, all kinds of stuff. Google your local shelters and see what they need. You probably got something they could use. Yep, so if you got love to give, love to show, there's plenty of ways to give it, plenty of ways to show it. And speaking of love, we love you guys. And remember, buy your fun, not your fam. Adopt, don't shop. And we'll see you on the next one, guys.